Welcome everybody back to Desert of Likes, and today we are unboxing Figma number 410 Guts, the Berserk Armored version, and this one is a repaint and also comes with some sick ass skulls. And then of course this is also brought to us by Max Factory. Here's a quick spin of the box, and really it's a lot of hardcore black and white red themes. Here we have the front of the box, the top of the box, the bottom of the box, the side of the box, the other side of the box, and the back of the box, showing off what this figure can do. Alright, you know what time it is. Next we have the figure in its clear inner packaging and as you can see it comes with a lot of accessories. I am very excited about this. And then as well you can see that there is the sword here and it looks really badass with its new repaint so far. Pulling this figure out of the box I would say that overall the paint and sculpt on this figure is absolutely perfect. There are no obvious quality control issues and I'm really liking this darker color look. Overall it seems to have sort of a darker purple undertone tint and when compared to the other Guts figure that we got previously, I would say that the darker look looks a lot better, especially with all the sharper, more jagged edges. That definitely looks really cool. The one thing I will mention though is that the earlier release photos of this version of Guts did have a lot more blood on the figure. I don't know if they just decided to take that out completely or um, if that was just a mislead, but definitely this figure that came out is a cleaner look. No blood or Guts on the armor anywhere. Moving on to range of motion, Guts can move pretty well. There's even this cool double joint in his shoulders that allows him to flex his shoulders inward and then as well backwards. And then as well, he squats pretty well. Moving on to accessories, he does come with a lot. First we have his default skull head and his cape collar. Next is the helmet with horns and the collar with a jaw piece. Then lastly, there he is, enclosed in the helmet in his full beast transformation, and honestly, that looks really super cool, but I will say that I really hate changing these headpieces as it feels like I'm pulling teeth to get these parts out. Moving on then to his accessory hands, and it's really nice to note that he does come with a shit ton of these uh, extra hands, but I do think it's a little bit weird that they still continue with the old style of these pigs, but that's just a minor gripe. First we get the fists, open hands, Relaxed hands, crooked hands, tilted sword holding hands, and upright holding hands. Then we have the sculpted cape which connects to the back with a peg, just like so. Then after that you can clip on our little friend here, Shirk, which I believe is how you say it. And this little girl is always keeping Guts sanity in check. So that's really nice to have, again, as an accessory. By the way, I'm still trying to catch up on the manga. Don't know everything about these characters, but that's what I know about her so far. And then of course here is the main attraction and that is Guts giant ass sword. From far away it looks really cool, but zooming in it looks a little bit like it's too printed on there. I would have preferred something different like more of a painted on bloodier look. Just like in the photos that were released beforehand. Now for size comparison, there he is next to Figma Major. There he is next to Reika from Gantz. There he is next to Michael Myers by NECA. And lastly, there he is next to one fourth scale Ryoko, the bunny version. Then, of course, we definitely gotta pull out the other Berserk Figmas for this one. Here he is next to the pre-sacrificed Guts. There he is next to the Black Swordsman Guts. There he is next to the repainted Black Swordsman Guts, who I didn't take out of the packaging quite yet. I don't know, just the repaint didn't seem to add too much more from the previously released one. So yeah, that's why he's still in the box. There he is next to Casca, the OG best waifu. There he is next to Ubik. There he is next to Conrad. And there he is next to Griffith, who did nothing wrong. Then there he is next to Femto, aka the Griffith, who did everything wrong. There he is next to Slan. There he is next to Void. And finally, there he is next to the previous Armored Berserk. Overall, he looks great adding into the rest of the collection on the shelf. I definitely like having him there. In my last Berserk unboxing, I said that I couldn't think of anyone else from the Berserk series line that I could think of being released as a Figma. Uh, luckily, all of you guys out there had some really cool suggestions. And so some of those I wanted to include here, which was the Zod character, the Skeleton Knight, Judeu, Grunbled, Shirak, Esma, Serpico, Farnes, and Salat. 
So yeah, there's basically a whole list of endless characters that they can release as a Figma. And I think that if they kept this train rolling, that'd be really cool. Uh, definitely not going to complain if they keep giving us more Figmas from Berserk. So yeah, let me know if I missed any of your favorite characters from the Berserk series. Maybe I could include those in for next time. But enough of comparing sizes, let's see Armored Guts in action. Help me, it hurts. I hate him. He should be dead. What's going on? A minute ago, he was dying. What's with this armor? The moment I donned it, the pain in the wounds vanished like it was an illusion. No, it simply doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me anymore. Whatever. There's something more important than that. Something pulsing inside of me. Something ferocious is seething. Something inside of me. Let go. Let go of everything. Let go. Look! He's becoming more beast than man! His armor's reinforcing his broken limbs. By piercing through his flesh and biting into his bones. I heard the previous owner of the armor was similarly devoured by its steel teeth. As he continued fighting until the last of his blood gushed forth from where his bones were broken. Alright, and so overall, this is another excellently done Figma by Max Factory, and I think for the Berserk line, this is really cool to add in, as in you can recreate more of your favorite scenes from the anime now that we have those extra skull pieces, and I really like the darker, grimier look of this Figma that has come out compared to the last one. I will say that it is uh, frustrating to deal with the head articulation limitations as it's really difficult to switch out his heads and then once you finally get in there it's really hard to move his head around and articulate in the way that you want to. Uh, I do like the accessories that he came with, the amount that he does come with. Um, I do not like the black cape uh, as well again, I would have uh, wished for something more like a posable wired cape, but uh, at least this one looks really good as well. Another gripe is that this Figma is on the higher end of the price. This guy is going to out you at about $88, but he isn't the most expensive Figma from the Berserk line, so he's kind of in the middle. Uh, definitely looks good, and if you can get over the price tag, he's definitely excellent to have on the shelf. So let me know what you guys think of this figure. Is this a yay or a nay for you, or are you like a Berserk diehard fan, so you're going to get this no matter what, and you already have it? I'm definitely a fan of having it in my collection. So yeah, that is it for me. Please leave a like and subscribe, comment your thoughts, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh.